Lol welcome back to the new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Safari error when you are searching for something here on your iPhone and iPads. So let's get started without wasting any time. So first of all guys here you can see when I try to search here for the Facebook.com it swing me the error Safari cannot open the feed because it could not establish a secure connection to the server. So if you are facing this problem on your iPhone or iPads, then keep watching the video talent because I gonna show you how to fix this type of error. So let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is just go back to your home screen. And then actually I have seven methods to solve this problem. So hopefully any of them will fix your problem as well. So let's start now. So first of all here, look at the settings icon here you can see gear like icon so first of all tap here on settings icon and from here you have to make sure that you have a strong internet connection here so if you don't have a strong internet connection then what you need to do is just here tap on mobile data and then from here you have to tap on mobile data option and from here tap on voice and data here it is and from here you have to select here add 4g and then from here make sure that load data mode is to go turn off here so after this go back and if you are using the wafa connection then what you need to do here tap on Wi-Fi and then from here what you need to do is just forget your Wi-Fi and then reconnect it and then check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if the problem still is not fixed then go for the second method for that what you have to do is just open up your Safari browser and then here check whether you have entered the exact URL because if you have entered the incorrect URL then you may face this type of problem so you have to make sure that you have entered the correct url and then check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if this trick also doesn't work for you then go for the next method for that again open up here settings app on your device and then what you need to do here scroll it down and here you can see safari so tap on these and from here you have to scroll it down scroll it down all the way here and here you will see the option like advanced so tap on this and you tap on website data and from here scroll it down and here is the remove all website data so tap on this and remove now and then go back and here is clear history and website data so tap on this and again tap on clear history and then go back and check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if the problem still isn't fixed then go for the next method for that what you need to do is just again open up here settings app on your device and then scroll it down here and now here is the general so tap on this and then again scroll it down and tap on date and time and from here make sure that both 24 hour time and set automatically to go or turn on here and then go back and check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if the problem still isn't fixed then go for the next method for that again open up settings app on your device and then scroll it down here and you tap on general again scroll it down here and tap on transfer or reset iphone tap on reset and from here what you need to do is just reset network settings give here your passcode and then confirm here tap on reset network settings so here this will delete all network settings returning them to factory default and your data will not be erased and then after that check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if the problem still isn't fixed then go for the next method further what you have to do is just reboot your device by pressing the combination of the keys 
according to your device and then check whether the problem has been fixed or not and if the problem still isn't fixed then go for the final method what, uh, what you have to do is just open up your settings app on your device and then tap here on software update so if you have an update here like i have this update on my device then what you need to do is just update your device to the latest version and then go back and again check here open up safari and then here again search for something you want to search like here you can see so here you can see my safari app is working right now so hopefully your problem will also be fixed so that's it guys for today video if the video is helpful please like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching